Okay, so I'm going to work through a slightly more complicated um, alternating path algorithm problem on a bipartite graph. And in this one, we've got six workers and six tasks for them to do. Um, and we've got an initial matching to start off with. So let's just color these in. Uh, we've got A to going to 4. Okay, so A to 4. We've got B5. So B5. We've got C to go to 2. And E to 1. Okay, so that's my initial matching. And what you'll notice here is that there are actually two workers left unassigned and there are two tasks which are left unassigned. Okay, so we're going to have to try and find a maximal matching if we can. Okay, a complete matching would be excellent, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. So, we've got to find an alternating path that gets me from one of the one of the unmatched workers to one of the unmatched tasks. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's start with D. Okay, so from D, I could go to 4 or 5. Okay, so I could go to 4 or 5 here. Um, so I'm going to write down both routes, D to 4 or 5, then to 4 I'd have to go to A, and then I would have to go uh, to 5, then I would have to go to B, then I could go to 3. Okay, but from here, from D going to 5, I could go to B, then 3. Okay, so in actual fact, there is a faster route through that will get me from D to 3. And usually, it doesn't really matter which one you go with, okay, it doesn't even matter which worker you start with, but it's usually best if you find the shortest one. Okay, it'll make your life a little bit simpler. Okay, so D five B three is the one that I'm going to go with, and what that's going to do is it's going to replace the five B or the B five with D five and B three. Okay, so they're the ones I'm going to want to keep. So if I keep this uh, going over here in the new bipartite graph, showing my matchings so far, okay, um, I had a 4B5C2E1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I now have uh, D5 and B3 instead of the B5, so A is still connected to 4, uh, C is connected to 2 and E is connected to 1. So this is the current uh, matching that I have. So then, having connected those two, okay, um, I now need to find a route that can get me from F to 6. Okay, so um, from here on out, if you can do this without redrawing the graph, that's usually better. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to go along B5 if I'm not careful. Okay, so I'm going to have to redraw this from scratch, I think, in order to be able to see it. So, apologies, I'm going to have to redraw it. In some cases, this is also what you will have to do. Um, so that's one of the difficulties with bipartite graphs, is actually the amount of drawing that can be involved. 
sometimes it's not easily identifiable. Um, who have I got here? I've got uh, four and five for that one. Four, five, uh, one, three, and five. One, three, five. Didn't draw that very well. Uh, one, three, five, uh, two and three for this one, two and three, um, then we've got four and five for this one, four and five, uh, one, three and six, so one, three, six, and F is connected to one and five. One and five. Okay, so our current matching is this one here, which now has A connected to four, uh, B connected to three, C connected to two, and D connected to five. Oh, sorry, E connected to one. So we now have just F and 6 unconnected. So from here, okay, um, we're going from F, we could go to 5 or 1 here. Um, from 5 to D, this is the one that I decided to go with, D, 4, uh, A, Then 5, I'm going to be going around in a circle if I'm not careful here. F, 5, D, 4, A. Then that gets me back to 5. Okay, so this is a problem, isn't it? Because I'm going to be keep on going around in circles. Um, so, trying from F to 1, that gets me to E and then to 6. So, you can see that in some cases, some of the roots are going to keep on going around in circles if you're not careful. So, F1, E6 is the one that I want, replacing 1E with F1 and E6. Okay, so this bit I'm going to erase. So 1 to E, I now replace with F1 instead and E to 6. So this is now the complete matching. So it's not a maximum matching, it's actually a complete one. So I've got A connected to 4, B connected to 3, C connected to 2, D to 5, and E to 6, and F to 1. So, okay? So it is a little bit long-winded, and I had to find uh, two alternating paths in order for it to work. If you've got uh, six tasks and six workers... Um, in a situation like this, and you've got an initial match and where only four of them are picked, you will have to find two alternating paths. If you have to draw the bipartite graph, then do so. Um, it can minimise uh, mistakes that you might make, okay, if you only draw it once. So be aware that that might be the problem. Um, if you are... If there are two roots, and I showed you how you can draw a little tree, di tree diagram to branch off the different roots, you don't need to write down the different roots. That is for your working only, okay? And usually it can help you just to see if you are getting just a, a repeating going round and round and round in circles, and whether you're actually missing a much faster route, okay? So... Take your time over this problem, as it can be quite fiddly.